thing that you will use for your coffee. You will use it to froth your milk. You will boil your eggs in the morning. You will make rice. You will make your veggies. I love that it's compact and tall. I mean, Alice, first of all, I was mentioning the trivet before and how it can fit over a sink. Well, look at that. I just roll that out because I put my, my jug pan here so I can show you a couple of features. Now, do you see that strainer lid? Really, really cool because it means you don't need to go for a colander. You've got the bigger holes and the smaller holes depending on what it is that you're straining. I've cooked some pasta in here, so I'll use the big holes. Look and watch this. this. Oh. I just go ahead, I strain all the liquid out of this jug pan. So this is the two quart jug pan, right? So the quantity, the volume is really sensational. I'm gonna put my steamy lid in my lid rest. Check this out, Alice. The Look pasta. <laughs> Look at the volume it's of like, pasta. It's like that Strega Nona story with the pasta it pot just where it just keeps going. coming. <laughs> now, this, of course, is the Dura Pan, so nothing will stick to the Dura Pan. I've gone ahead and cooked some veggies in another one. Now, there's little pieces of broccolini and peas in here, so I'm going to spin this from my coarse to my fine strainer so we know that nothing's going to come out. Go ahead and strain that off. Look at how that works without a colander. Every time I do it, it puts a smile on my face because I think I don't have to go and find the colander, which I can never do at my house, but but more importantly, I don't have to wash it. Then all of your veggies are in there. Look, you're gonna put those vegetables over the top. Now, Alice, you stopped along the way to have a look at my new Dura storage, right? I love these things. Here it is right here. It's a set of three. By the way, it's watertight. So if you look at this, see how that's got a liquid in it? I can shake it. See how nothing's coming out? See that? Right, so now that's a vinaigrette. I'm gonna just lift the lid on that and I'm gonna dress this gorgeous pasta salad which, by the way, once you're done, Alice, if there's some leftovers, which there might not be because it's going to taste so delicious, I'm going to put a little bit of my Italian seasoning on there as well, right? So what you'll do there, and oh, I'm going to finish it with a little Parmesan cheese. You know what I'm like. I'm never happy until it's perfect. So a little bit of Parmesan cheese there, Rochelle sniggers, because she's like, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, he's never happy until he's... Okay, so, but... Don't forget, once you're done here, Alice, if you only eat half of it, guess what? You go ahead and put it back into DuraBake storage and then this can be thrown back in the oven. But so, you love that, not having to have that separate drawer just for your storage, okay? Just for those awful plasticky things. Now your bakeware turns into your storage pieces. Right. I so, love it. Look, you can, you can pop this, you'll pop the lid on it like that, right? clicks on perfectly. This will go into your fridge, right? Mm -hmm. When it's time to, maybe you want to do it differently and you say, I actually want to now do it as a gratin. So you'll go ahead, you'll cover it with cheese and because it's DuraBake, um, you will then throw the whole thing in the oven, all right? So you can see I'm getting a bit That's excited okay. here, Alice. So you throw <laughs> this, this the whole Italian thing, girl coming out. the whole thing in the <laughs> oven. Yeah, I love enjoy. This cheese. The whole <laughs> thing goes in the oven because it's DuraBake, right? So, and then again, it'll all just wipe off. I know I got a little distracted, but I get excited by my new storage. These are brand kids. new. Oh, These are brand new. I love the innovation you bring <laughs> into the kitchen. Just the great idea. No more having to store all those plasticky things that are awful. Take your DuraBake, use it, and then save whatever's left over. I mean, your brownies, whatever it might be. Now, again, if you want the, the jug pan, mm. we've got this priced at $34.95. We're doing everything on five flex payments today. You've got a pour spout, two quart capacity. You cannot believe, how many eggs right. are in there? A dozen? How many eggs did you put in, Rochelle? Was it a dozen? A dozen? Yeah. At least, yeah. At least, a, dozen. At least, At least a, dozen a dozen eggs, right? Now, we also made oatmeal, which Rochelle's already gone ahead and taken out. But let me show you the... So there's the oatmeal. But let me show you the cleanup on the Dura Pan, right? Because this, of course, oatmeal, we all know how sticky oatmeal is. Yeah, uh I want to make sure everybody can... There oh, it is. Oh, sorry, I'm, yeah. I'm leaning over. So have a oh, look, look at, at that. that. <laughs> I, all I do is move it. This was the residual oatmeal. Look, it falls out. Oh, look my at the gosh. Pan. That's crazy. Spotless. Oatmeal, for heaven's sakes. Now, I mean... Just to show you here, Alice, I'm going to go ahead and strain the water, and in fact, I'm straining it from one to another. Now, of course, the reason I did this pan, Alice, was because I had young kids, and I was so sick of... Have a look at this. There are all the eggs, just yeah. so you can see the capacity, right? I was so sick of heating up their milk, trying to pour it into their bottles in the middle of the night, and making a mess. And my little Hudson and Emerson, who I'd always take care of um, in, in the middle of the night, here's the deal. I put a pour spout, and I thought, if only there was a saucepan that looked a bit like a jug. You could hang onto the handle just like that, right? You've still got all the qualities of the Dura Bake. Thanks, Rochelle. That's exactly what I used to be doing in the middle of the night. <laughs> but here we go. Have a look at, look at how it pours, Alice. Oh, See yeah. how I can just stop, and I can start, and there's no drips? Look, uh, you know, that's the most important part, of course. So beautiful.
chocolate milk, right? And then if I wanted to do like a tea or even an iced tea, mm -hmm. um, again, you can just hold those bags back and you get this gorgeous pour. See how normally this would be dripping all over the place if it was a normal saucepan. And I seem obsessed with it, but you will be as well once you start pouring from this pan. So just works beautifully. And look at how it fits on your stove. I mean, this is what, what's so brilliant about it is the fact that now you don't have that great big, great big handle sticking out right. that you've got to try and figure out, you know, a lot of people have the drawers now in their kitchen and the, the long handled pans Come just on. don't work anymore. Now you have the capacity you want, uh, the capacity of a two quart saucepan, but simple and easy now in terms of being able Alice, to store it. First time ever, something stuck in the Dura pan. Well, guess what? Things burn sometimes. Watch this. Okay. I'm actually going to dig this rice out because I want everyone to see right. that even when something starts to stick or go crisp, which it has done here, you can see that rice has started to stick. Even if that burnt, it would all still just fall out of the Dura pan, and that's what's so cool. This is what you're left with, which is a spotless uh, bottom of that pan. Then, of course, you know, and we are running out of time, you guys, I'm sorry, but we've got shrimp over here. So you're talking about the capacity that you can do here, Alice. Mm. We've got asparagus wow. that can be standing up, so it's the perfect little pot to be, to be boiling some asparagus in. Come on down here with me, Alice, because I want everyone to see all of the versatility. And again, turquoise, black, and red, those are the only colors that we have available for you. So if you want to match it back to our today's special, we'll show you that in a second. <gasps> That's your Look corn. That corn. So with Super Bowl around the corner, you guys, mm -hmm. think about that little bit of extra help that you're going to want in the kitchen. Now, again, the cleanup on all of their Dura pans, you've seen it so many times. Look, sticky creamed corn. Watch what I do. I get myself a towel. I throw it on in there, Alice and then I wipe it clean. Now, yes, of course, you'll put this in the dishwasher. You'll just toss it in. But look, spotless in seconds. Spotless in seconds. If you want to put it in the dishwasher, it's dishwasher safe, metal utensils safe. Over two and a half million Dura pans being used in kitchens. This is going to be your new favorite. You can stack these if you want to, but get, grab a couple of these because you will use these instead of those long handled pans, especially with a two quart capacity, okay? Yeah. They actually come in two sizes, Alice, and look at this. Oh, I didn't even know they that. They nest absolutely beautifully as well. Oh, so the great. two quart will fit in the three quart. Yeah. The lid turns over and then that goes on and that just stores away so beautifully. And don't forget, if you do want to match these back to the Today's Special, we still have all colors available at this moment, but over how